So guys, I'm gonna take you to our lovely flat here in Collingdale. So as you can see, we've got our own, before I go to the flat, we've got an elevator here, a fire exit here, which you could actually take the stairs if you'd like to do some exercise, you know? And obviously these are ele our electrical cupboards. You need to have the proper key to open them. And then we've got our lovely neighbors on the side. I'm gonna take you to our flat inside. So welcome, we've got our telephone here to answer um, deliveries. And if you've got friends coming over, we just have to press on a button there to release the door at the main front of the building. We've got our shoe rack here. My friends, my housemates invested in these, so we try to share. You know, I've only I only use this space though. And then here you can see the rest of the hallway. This is our main toilet for everybody. Then we've got first room, our first room, the second room, that's my room. And then this is our kitchen in here. I'm gonna show them to you individually later on. And this one here is also the main and suite room. And our storage cabinet is this one. And then I'm gonna take you to the living room shortly. So as you can see, it's actually a very spacious flat. We're paying 2,500 pounds for the property. We managed to secure the property around October 2022. So if you're watching this video in 2040 <laughs> and you're in living and you know working in London, apologies then. <laughs> but this video has been taken today around this is today's april 2023 saturday saturday so um everything is actually carpeted and we did ask the agent before moving in to make sure that the carpets have been thoroughly cleaned um there are actually three rooms however there's four of us because one of the ends with for the ends with room a couple is staying in the place. A couple is staying in the room, and it's me. It's more. It's much. It makes things more economical for the four of us. So we're just really lucky to land this flat in London in Collindale. So roughly, we're paying six hundred twenty-five pounds per month, exclusive of the council tax which I'm assuming is between 175 to 240 that I have to clarify because it's the new financial year so I'm assuming it our council tax should have gone down so this hyper optic internet that that modem was already there so we had to just ring hyper optic company to create an account and sort our internet connection i think we're paying 25 pounds per month then let me take you to our living room so as you can see here our living room is quite spacious we've been provided the um dining table and the chairs the sofa as well as those study tables because we did ask the agent before we moved in when we viewed the property initially there was nothing in the living room so i guess we consider ourselves lucky to have been provided these otherwise we'd have to end up paying for these ourselves so um if you can see here ac just across it's actually the train station there oh, let me try to zoom in that's Collindale station and then we've got just across there's a gym. Let me try to zoom in. Yeah, that's pure gym. And there's like fun, some food shops just across as well the street. And then there are, there are bus stations. And there's even a park on the other side. So if you've got children, it's an actually a good place, especially during summer, to explore the area. 
and you can see the London tubes underground is just across and it's so convenient actually and I really love the place because there's even some space here look we could hang some clothes here but at the moment it's still spring so we try to hang them I mean it's the beginning of spring so we try to hang our clothes inside I'm gonna show you uh, where we hang them later so see there's such a huge space look and this is how it looks from this angle um, I've got some of my plants there so unfortunately I'm not very good at you know taking care of plants but I'm trying my best I've got my aloe vera and snake plants there and during winter this actually looks very nice with all the snow covering so as you can see it's really a very nice day today actually to vlog and there's also like a bubble lodgy where you could drink buy order milk tea so now if we head back to our living room i am going to show you where we hang our clothes during winter because i did try to hang our clothes outside during winter but i noticed that it was always cold slash wet to touch so we place our we hang our clothes on this section of the living room i don't know what this space is um the architect actually designed this for but there's a small heater so i mean why not use the space isn't it we don't have a tv at the moment because we only use a projector my friends my housemates got some projector so we actually use it when we watch movies and invite friends over and you know what if even if we have a, just a few like space i mean chairs in here um we could still invite lots of people actually look so if you look from this view from this angle you will see that it's really spacious and i think paying 2500 pounds per month for this place for four people even with just three rooms is actually great You want me to try to show you the ceiling? It's the ceiling, yeah? We tried to replace the light bulbs because my housemate who knows electronics and engineering and all those stuff told us that the ones attached and latched to the ceiling was a more non-economical version of the light of the available light bulbs. So if this is the living room i'm gonna take you now to the rooms but before that i'm gonna show you the storage area that we have here so we keep our luggages and our you know all our stuff in here our vacuum cleaner and this is i'm assuming the boiler so we try to keep it tidy as much as possible because we never know when we have visitors so we've got I'm gonna show you now the rooms then I'm gonna take you to the largest room so as you can see this is the most spacious room that we have it's an ensuite so my housemates they're a couple they stay in this room with the approval of the landlord and the agent before we moved in so if they've got actually everything in here so they provide well they, uh, the the landlord actually pro the landlord provided the bed and the this cup this cabinet however these two i believe my housemates bought them and if you take they have their own shower facilities here so and toilet as well so it's really it's really convenient for them as a couple and should they plan to start a family it's also very convenient for them and if you take a look outside let's try to take let's try to bring this um, lines up so they also have a very good view of the outside 
during spring or summer. So it's really nice. They've got their own stuff in there. So it's perfect. So from the hallway, I'm gonna show you now to my room. So as you can see, my room has also a cabinet. So my bed is there. And then I've got my mini dream catcher there. So and this is the and this is the view from inside of my room. So, it's actually a very nice room. Co-op, there's a grocery called Co-op downstairs. I'm not sure if, that, if they're really that pricey compared to other grocery, compared to other groceries in the UK, but if I've got some ingredients that I actually need to that I'm missing rather, so I just go down and buy it from them. So if you open this room, this actually this room actually has a very good view as well of the outside. So the bed is provided as well as the cabinet. So my friend actually hangs his clothes inside just because it's still cold outside. And then that's the same view that he gets. So more or less, it's actually, I would say it's a very, it's a very good deal. We could have um, negotiated for maybe 2,300 or 2,200 pounds for this flat. However, at that time, the three of us were actually wanting and having the urge to move out of our current respective accommodation. So we just had to go for the 2,500. Most especially since Collindale, Collindale is also in demand, I would say, because as you can see, there are so, so many new blocks of flats and renovations being put in place in the area. So, and look at that, it's really near Collindale Station. I'm not sure if I could zoom in. Zoom it in? No, I don't think so. I don't think so, but yeah. I'm now going to bring it to our kitchen here. So when we moved in, um, there was nothing in this kitchen except for the oven and our, what they call this, um, washing machine that's built in. So it's a good thing we did not have to buy anything. This also comes with a dryer function. However, we try to um, save on bills so we don't use a dryer and we just hang our clothes in the living room or on the veranda outside and then we've got some different cupboards where we store our um utensils and other items used for the kitchen and we divide the, the um, cupboards equally so as you can see there are two rice cookers <laughs> you could immediately pick up that this is an asian household and if you'd like to um, dim the lights you could actually switch off the other one or the other way around it's up to you so um, the the how would, what you call that that uh, microwave was donated by one of our senior nurses in the hospital and basically it's actually got I've got all the basic necessities that we need and require in the kitchen and then we have our fridge here um, we tend to place our fridge magnets for the places we visited to outside of the United Kingdom. So this, this portion here is obviously the freezer section. And meanwhile, on the, on the top part of the refrigerator, we've got just the rest of them. It doesn't need to be frozen. I mean, in the frozen section. I'm gonna take you now to our main toilet so as you can see here we've got a toilet there we've got a bathtub as well and a shower so when we moved in this pole wasn't there so we had to struggle with water splashing on the floor so 
we had to buy this extendable pole from I think this was from Ikea I'm not quite sure but yeah and then we got obviously all our stuff just next to the bathtub and then I tried to keep my weighing scale here because I tried to make sure that I monitor my weight if I'm, st I'm still within the ideal body weight for my you know height and my weight so we actually live in the second floor of the building and if you try to take the fire exit you could see here there's another blocks of flats then we head straight down I'm gonna show you around because there were instances where the elevator actually did not function so you know, I'm gonna show you the main entrance of the building and I should have worn my jacket before going out <laughs> now we've got all those stuff there so this way that actually is the elevator and then this is the way to go out of the building we've got our air for our um, letters and deliveries in this section we've got our notice board here as well and then if we head outside just press on this or maybe click on the other one yeah. so this is the this is the outside of the building you know and this is we've got some stuff here and the co-op is there and the co train station is actually on the other side so it's really convenient and we've got a costa coffee shop and the rest so guys thank you so much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you all in london take care